So it looks like there's some optimization problems with the recently released Cyberpunk 2077 game. And aside from the plethora of complaints people have with the title, there's one problem in particular that's negatively impacting performance on Ryzen CPUs. So let's fix that and boost performance so your experience is nice and smooth. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at an optimization tweak that you can apply to your gaming system to help boost performance in the popular Cyberpunk 2077 title. Now this tweak will only work on Ryzen CPUs as this game seems to have a particular problem with allocating the workload evenly across multiple threads. You see, the issue is that for some reason on AMD Ryzen CPUs, the game seems to ignore SMT and not evenly make use of all threads available to it. Instead, it seems to be just focusing on the physical cores themselves, and this can result in higher latency, which therefore leads to lower performance. I uploaded a video yesterday showcasing some gameplay of the game running on an RTX 3080 with an AMD Ryzen 7 3800 XT 8-core 16-thread processor, and if you guys take a look at the on-screen display from Rivatuner Statistics and pay attention to the thread utilization, you'll notice that every other thread is barely being used. So for example, you can see thread 1 having fairly high utilization. You can see it bouncing around anywhere from 70 to 95%. With thread 3, it's the same thing, thread 5 and thread 7 also behaving similarly. However, if you take a look at threads 2, 4, 6, and so on, you'll notice that those threads are barely being utilized, with usage being reported in the single digits, and maybe sometimes it goes into the 20s. Now, opening up Task Manager gives us a much better visual as to what's going on, and like I mentioned earlier, here you can see that not all threads are being used equally. There's some really odd behavior going on where the first thread or physical core is being used, then the one after that, which is the logical core, isn't being used. Then the third one, which it would also be a physical core, is being used as it should, then the fourth one, which is a logical core, isn't. So essentially, this is causing a negative impact on performance if you have a Ryzen system. And if you've noticed some odd behavior with the game when it comes to performance, such as low performance, stutters, lower minimum FPS, then this could be the result of that. Now, giving credit where credit is due, a user on the AMD subreddit by the name of BrandBlexD brought this to everyone's attention, where they mentioned that the game was ignoring SMT on AMD Ryzen CPUs. At first, it was suspected that the game was using an Intel compiler, which would cripple performance on AMD CPUs, and this caused a little bit of drama and some conspiracy theories were thrown out there, as you can imagine. But a user by the name of Cookie PL Monster from Slash RPC Gaming pointed out that the problem comes from GPU Open, where the game performs a check that modifies the game scheduler to use more or less cores depending on the CPU family. This check effectively grants non-bulldozer AMD processors less scheduler threads, which is precisely why you see higher CPU usage when the check is removed. I believe that among all the problems that this game has, when development started, which could have been before Ryzen 1st Gen was launched, the devs had designed the check in mind with AMD's bulldozer CPUs. And you guys can probably guess why that might be an issue, as with bulldozer, AMD first touted its multi-core design where a CPU like the 8350 had eight cores when in actuality it had four cores with just uh, two integer units. Whereas with Ryzen the design is completely different and has true SMT so the game maybe is applying the same logic to all AMD CPUs thus causing adverse effects and ignoring SMT. Now that's just a hypothesis I'm not saying that's definitely the problem but it could be a possibility. I don't know, but I'm hoping this at least gets the attention of the devs and they'll know the proper way to mitigate the problem. Now, in order to fix the problem, it's actually really straightforward and simple and takes less than a minute. All you really need to do is use a hex editor software, open up the game's exe file and literally edit one line. And that's pretty much it to prevent the game from doing the check and telling it to ignore SMT on AMD Ryzen CPUs. So first things first, you want to download a program called HXD. This is a free hex editor that works great. And links for this program and everything else I mentioned will be in the video description. So once you've gone ahead and downloaded the program, go ahead and install it on your PC. Once that's done, go ahead and launch the program. 
once you're in, you're going to want to go ahead and open up the Cyberpunk 2077 EXE file. So just go ahead and locate that. Depending on which version you're using, whether that's the GOG version or Steam version, the location might be different for you. Once you've located it, go ahead and open the EXE. Now, once it's open, click on the top where it says search, click on find and make sure you're on hex find and paste this line then hit OK. It'll search the line for you and all you're going to want to do is change the 75 at the beginning to an EB. E for Echo, B for Bravo. Click on save and then that's it. Go ahead and open up Cyberpunk and run the game. You'll see that Task Manager is reporting equal distribution of the workload throughout all available threads from the CPU and that's good. This is exactly what we want in order to potentially boost performance. Now just to make sure that this wasn't some placebo effect or that this fix wouldn't uh, help improve performance, I decided to run a couple benchmark runs to get some hard FPS data and see if this improved frame time performance. Now for this benchmark run, I decided to use the scene where V is riding in the car with Jackie after the first mission. And this is a pretty demanding area where it's raining and you're driving through Night City with all the NPCs. As for settings, I'm using a mixture of medium, high and ultra settings with DLSS on quality mode with ray tracing disabled at 1440p. And these are the same settings that I actually use to play the game and I'll be making an optimization guide where I go through the settings for the game in the near future to help you achieve the best possible performance while maintaining great visuals. All right, so as for the benchmark results, well, here the numbers would indicate that not a whole lot has changed. In fact, we're seeing the exact same performance as we did without the patch. Now, this could be due to various things such as the area tested in the game. So some areas are more demanding than others. I'm also playing at 1440p, so I'm more GPU bound. And also, while many users were reporting that they saw a performance increase, there were also many who didn't see much of a performance boost. This is definitely one of those your mileage may vary scenarios, as it might depend on other factors such as your system specs, game settings, and what other background processes could be affecting your performance. I've also played this game on both my test bench that has a Ryzen 7 3800 XT and an RTX 3080, and on my own personal rig which has a Ryzen 9 3900X and a RTX 2080 that's water cooled and overclocked. And performance on both of my systems was already quite good to begin with, uh, and this was with the settings that I mentioned earlier. I personally didn't have too many problems with the game's performance as much as other people were reporting. I wasn't experiencing any horrific stutters or drastic frame drops. It was all fairly smooth to begin with. So there you guys have it. This patch could potentially help boost performance on your Ryzen system. One thing is for certain, this game definitely needs a lot more patches and needs a lot more performance optimization tweaks. I'm hoping the devs work hard to deliver them in a timely manner. I hope you guys found this video to be informative and helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out the video description on ways to support the channel and for my other videos. If you guys are interested in more content like this, then make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.